A while back, Jeremy Spindler came to Boston for grad school to be a music professor. And life takes you in very different directions, so here we are. Sweet! Literally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today, Spindler's Confections on Mass Ave in Cambridge is among the Boston area's finest handmade chocolate shops. But not only is there an actual tiny candy museum inside the shop, but the collection itself pays homage to a local candy history that most folks know little about. Back in its heyday in the late 1950s, early 1960s, there were about 140 confectioneries in Boston, and they weren't little shops like ours. These were multi-story factories producing upwards of, you know, two or 300,000 pounds of candy a day in some instances. Boston had its newspaper row, Cambridge, confectioner's row? Yeah, yeah, for many decades. The stretch of Main Street between Central Square and Kendall Square was known as confectioner's row. In fact, the Boston area was like a sampler of candy firsts. We actually had the very first chocolate manufacturer in the country down in Dorchester. So Jeremy, this is an original chocolate mold for Baker's Candy Company. Yeah, correct. We think it's roughly the 1880s to maybe 1900. And some sweet local history, still very much a part of this reporter's caloric intake. An original tin, not jar, tin of marshmallow fluff. Yep. Still being made. Still being made, yeah. Which is true for Spindler's own handcrafted confections too. We're really known for our caramel. So we do chocolate covered caramels. We do caramel creams. What do you love most about making candy? A lot of people come in and they won't necessarily buy anything, but they just enjoy being in the shop. Looking around at everything, seeing all the old history, smelling chocolate in the air. They generally leave a little bit happier than when they came in. Chocolate, history, marshmallow fluff, I'd work here part-time if they'd have me. Unfortunately, my audition didn't go that well. Flew off the side. It flew off the side. <laughs> How did it do that? <laughs> Good thing Ted did not quit his day job. We like him where he is. As for master chocolatier Jeremy Spindler, the warm weather months are not the busiest ones for his products. So Spindler's Confections closes in late May, opens back up in October, tiny candy museum and all. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a good evening, a good weekend. Hope to see you back here again on Monday night.